What's going on everybody, Josh here with Scrapyard Films and today I got another Vegas Pro 17 video for you. Today I'm going to be showing you all about Vegas' new slow motion effect. I recorded a bunch of different types of video with different frame rates and different shutter speeds and I'm going to be showing you examples throughout this entire video of what the differences are between how you can do it super slow motion. It's a real easy effect to do so let's go ahead and jump right into it. So, Vegas has always had slow motion, in the form of either holding control and dragging the edge of your clip forward or back, or using the velocity tool. Now what this new slow motion effect does is that it detects frames and gaps between frames when you stretch out the video, and it uses one of two algorithms to create an in-between frame to make your video look slow motion and less choppy and make it look smoother. It can either use the optical algorithm or the morphing algorithm. Each one looks a little bit different, but they do accomplish the same goal in the end. Now the best way to make the slow motion look awesome and create the least amount of artifacts possible is when you put in a video, let's just say a 24p video, 24 frames per second, and you have it at 50 shutter speed or whatnot, uh, and you wanna, let's say, stretch it, at 50% speed. Normally, if you were to just use velocity or control drag that clip, you're gonna see gaps between the frames, you're gonna see choppiness from gaps between different frames because that's gonna increase. So what you wanna do is, depending on how much you want to slow down the video, you're dividing 100% of the original speed by two. So what you wanna do is multiply your frame rate, which is 24 frames per second in this case, by two in the project settings. So you wanna to go to your project settings and make your frame rate 48 frames per second. So another example is if you wanna slow down your 24 frame per second footage to 25% of its original speed, then that's dividing its original speed of 100% by four to get 25% speed. So you wanna multiply your frame rate, 24 frames per second by four, and then that's what you wanna change your project settings to, which would be 96. Now I know this seems a little bit confusing, but if you follow these steps, you're gonna see the best results possible. Because Vegas needs to know that there are frames there that it's going to be calculating and creating those in-between frames with those algorithms. So if you don't follow these directions, the slow motion still will work, but you may see more artifacts, which are basically pixel distortions when you see quick movement. Now real quick for a third example, if you have 60 frames per second footage, then you wanna slow it down beyond 50% speed, like if you wanna make your 60 frames per second footage 25% speed, you can't multiply 60 by four in Vegas's project settings. The most it can do is 120 frames per second in its project settings. So to make it even, putting it at 120 is gonna provide you the best results, no matter how much you need to slow down 60 frames per second footage. So let's jump into Vegas and show you. All right, so we have Vegas loaded up right here. Now I'm gonna go ahead and drag and drop some footage right here. I'm gonna drop in some 60 frame per second footage with 125 shutter speed. So with this footage, if I were to slow it down to 40%, it would make a really nice, good looking slow motion. But what I'm gonna do is slow it down to even more. I'm gonna slow it down to 25% and see how good we can make it look. So to do that, we'll go up to file, go down to properties, and then we're gonna change the frame rate over here to 119.88, which is double. And then for safe measures, I always have resample mode to disable because Smart Resample looks like it made some weird artifacts on there. And I always put my full resolution rendering quality to best, and then I hit apply. Once I've done that, I see my project frame rate has changed. And let's go ahead and cut the part we wanna do. So I have me swinging a pool noodle here. So right about there, I'm gonna cut it. And I'll make it swing a couple times. One, two, three, and land it right back where it started. So let's take a look at that on loop, see what that looks like. Okay, swinging pool noodles. So from here, easy peasy, we don't need the audio. I'm gonna select this audio track and delete it. From here, let's go over to our video effects and type in SL, and that brings our slow motion. We drag and drop that onto our video effect, and that brings in this window. So this window, you don't have many options. You have a quality preset, and that is it. Coarse, medium, or fine. Basically, low, medium, or high quality. Now to get the best results, obviously you wanna choose fine. Now once you choose your quality, you're gonna just select analyze motion, and then it's gonna do its analyzing. Now, if you do the lower quality, it's gonna analyze a lot faster. And so when you do the high quality, it's gonna take a long time to analyze depending on your computer. All right, and it's all done. So once it's done, a couple more options appear. Method appears, and it only has two options, morph and optical flow, and then your playback rate slider, which you can drag that all the way to zero or all the way up to 100. 
and this controls the playback percentage. One is 100% playback rate, 0.5 is 50% playback rate, so half speed, you know, kind of like that. So what I like to do here is I like to make a copy of this if I want to try different options out. So I'll hold control and then drag this clip over and then make a successful copy. Now, one thing to note is when you apply the slow motion effect to your clip in a big project or if you have a lot of clips with slow motion attached, I've noticed that the editing can get a little bit time consuming, like you'll click somewhere, you'll drag something out and it'll take a really long time for Vegas to initiate or to go back to normal, like minutes at this point. So be aware that a lot of this slow motion effect at once can slow down your editing efficiency. So right here, I'm going to notate I'm going to press M on the keyboard to put a note and I'm going to say original. So I know not to mess with that. Now I want to make this one 25% speed. So to do that, let's open the effect and then playback rate. I'm going to put 0.25 hit enter. That's going to change the playback rate to 25%. Now, once you do that, basically it slows down your clip and now you have a really short 25% length clip. So normally your clip that is this long, if you shrunk it down to 25% play rate, you're going to have to drag this three quarters of what it is to match it. So an easy way to do that, they added in this latest build, is if you have your clip selected and go up to tools, go down to extensions, and then go to adjust the length of slow motion plugin. If you select that, it'll automatically drag your clip to the exact length it should be, depending on what playback rate you put. So I'm gonna go ahead and play this on the screen for you. And there you go. Did you notice the difference? I could tell a difference between these. And so now that you know how to do it, I'm going to explain a couple more things and then we're going to see a bunch of comparisons. So I've rendered these clips a few times and I'm going to show you the standard velocity slow motion, which is built into Vegas, which you can hold control and drag your clip longer and that makes it slower. Or you can right click and add velocity to it, which you can adjust a slider for how slow or fast you want it. And then we have the optical flow, which is the first method of Vegas's new slow motion. And then we have the morph option, which is the second option of Vegas' slow motion. So I'm going to show you three different slow motions, velocity, optical flow, and morph. And then I'm going to compare them all side by side for you as well. And then after we're done, we'll check out all the differences.
All right, so let's look at this one real quick. This is the 24 frame per second footage shot with a 50 shutter speed, and I slowed it down by half. So I rendered it out as 48 frames per second. And let's take a look. So you saw what it looks like if you play it, and you could probably tell a difference right off the bat, but if we slow it down even more, if I go ultra slow speed, you'll see this looks like it has an extra frame inside of it. And that's what Vegas' slow motion does. If we go frame by frame forward, you'll see for the gap of frames that normally happen when you just stretch a clip out, it recreates that frame. So basically that gap where there is no extra movement, but that extra frame is there, it makes an in-between frame and that's what it creates. And that's how it creates its super slow motion because it looks like you're shooting at twice the frame rate you actually are. Or depending on how much you slide slider, that much more of a frame rate. So we go frame by frame, you'll see on the right, the morph moves twice by the time the velocity moves once. And so when you play it, it makes it look a lot more smooth, as you saw. So now let's look at the 60 frames per second footage. And to see the difference in this, we got to change our project settings, file, project properties. Let's do 120 just to see this quickly. So now we go frame by frame, you'll see the optical, which is that version, making an in-between frame when this one is not. So we play it, you'll see it looks hyper smooth. And that's a, that's a really awesome thing. Now, a third one we're going to look at is I rendered the 60 frames per second footage with a 500 shutter speed. So I basically made no motion blur at all, which is that last example you saw. So when you add the super slow motion to something without motion blur, that's when it can get kind of finicky. So let's look at that, too. So I have the 60 frames per second rendered out to 120 frames per second uh, with 500 shutter speed. So there's no motion blur. So if we go frame by frame we're gonna see artifacts created, and that's right there. It's trying to do its algorithm and calculate what's in between there, but when motion blur is involved, it makes it a lot better, and a lot better looking, really. So we play this, we'll notice just breaking in the scenes, like right there. Like that one's just broken up. And that's the kind of stuff you'll expect, and so I really don't have a say on which one looks better than the other. I like morph for some frame rates and some shutter speeds, and I like optical for others. It really just depends on your scene. So you get to try them both with this awesome feature so you can choose what looks best for you. But that is going to go ahead and wrap it up. I hope this video helped you out. And if it did, maybe shoot a like down there over there for me. And maybe you could do a subscribe as well, because I'd have a lot more Vegas 17 tutorials and Vegas effects on my channel, Scrapyard Films. So thanks again for watching, guys, and I'll see you all in the next one. I want to take a second to thank my super patrons, LMC and HPL Gamers, and of course, all of my Twitch subscribers.